Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That's the taste of cookie right there. Yeah. This week, the president continued to call for the House to reopen the federal government by passing a continuing resolution and avoid an economic shutdown by raising the debt limit. That's October 4th to October 10th for the shutdown edition, week two. On Friday, the president and vice president walked over to a small business around the corner from the White House, a hoagie shop called Taylor Gourmet, to thank them for giving a 10% discount and a free cookie to all furloughed federal workers. Reopen the government, make sure we're paying our bills, two basic functions that Congress has, uh, and take your cues from folks like this. What do you get? I got the Ninth Street. Now, I, I'm paying for Joe, so don't take no, his money. <laughs> I just said I was paying for you. No, no, no. <laughs> the president got a chance to talk to some locals and out-of-towners on the way back, then sat down with Julie Pace of the Associated Press to talk about an issue at the top of everyone's mind. Renaming the Redskins? Nope. The shutdown. What we can't do is keep uh, engaging in this sort of brinksmanship where uh, a small faction of the Republican Party ends up forcing them into brinksmanship to see if they can somehow uh, you know, get more from negotiations by threatening to shut down the government or threatening uh, America not paying its bills. On Monday, the president started the second week of the government shutdown by meeting with FEMA officials at the National Response Coordinating Center, where he thanked them for working during the shutdown in advance of the arrival of Tropical Storm Karen and repeated his call for House Republicans to vote on a continuing resolution to reopen the government and to raise the debt limit. I think the American people simply want government to work. And there's no reason that there has to be a shutdown in order for the kinds of negotiations Speaker Boehner says he wants to proceed. Hold a vote. Call a vote right now. On Tuesday, the president took Jay Carney's spot at the podium in the Brady briefing room to make a statement and answer some questions from White House reporters. But I'm not going to breach a basic principle that would weaken the presidency, change our democracy, and do great damage to ordinary people just in order to go along with what the House Republicans are talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, the First Lady stopped by my hat. The First Lady started off day nine of the shutdown, spending some time traveling the halls and offices of the White House's West Wing and Eisenhower Executive Office Building. She spent some time visiting with staffers and thanked them all for their hard work keeping all these offices running while the majority of White House staff is out on furlough. Thanks for looking out for our folks. Meanwhile, the president was participating in a series of four regional television interviews where he spoke with anchors about how the government shutdown has affected their communities and how an economic shutdown would be even worse. Here's the principle at stake. If, in fact, uh, one faction of one chamber, of one branch of government, is able to say, we will shut down the government and shut down the economy unless we get our way on something that we want, then our democracy doesn't work. Then, the president announced his nominee to succeed Ben Bernanke as the chairman, or in this case, the first ever chairwoman of the Federal Reserve at a pivotal time for our economy. At the end of the day, the House Democratic Caucus gathered in the East Room for a meeting with the president, where they discussed the government shutdown and the upcoming debt limit deadline. On Thursday, the president continued his bipartisan consultations with Congress, meeting with House Republicans and Senate Democrats. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Maybe go around, shake a few hands, and uh, just say thank you. But uh, in the meantime, I want to make sure everybody's still monitoring uh, whatever it is that you're supposed to be monitoring. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty important room.